YouTube, my name is JP Mosey, and welcome back for some more Minecraft Pixelmon on the squad's private server. In the last episode, you guys, we went and we gathered some materials from the nether, and we had ourselves a quite disappointing encounter with Latios, but never fear, your boy JP is here. We got some things to do today, but first, can, can you check out your boy? We got the drip today. We got those sun, so sunglasses, look at those. Those are our mega sunglasses, because if we look over here, we can change our mega stone to uh, fit into any kind of uh, like kind of wearable, you know what I'm saying? So I took off the mega bracelet and decided to throw on these shades because your boy is looking drippy with it. Uh, there's a couple things I need to go over with you guys. I did catch some new Pokemons off screen. A lot, I've caught a lot of starters, but here is my boy Decidui. Look at him. Uh, I'm gonna nickname him shortly, and then we got Greninja over here. Yeet Ski. I know Jesse has a Greninja, so we are ready to combat his with our own. And there's also a surprise for you guys that I need to show you. Um, as you guys can check from my inventory, I have done lots of grinding off screen. I am ready to build this Team Magma base. That is what we are doing in today's episode. We are building this Team Magma base. I don't care how long it takes. It's going to be dope. But look at my Larvesta. What's popping with you, big homie? Um, we're going to peep in the uh, box here because we've got all kinds of things I need to show you. Uh, I caught a... Where is it? I caught a Hydreigon. That is another new mon I have obtained. Uh, I also caught a Blaziken and a Quilava in the wild while I was uh, gathering resources and stuff like that. This box is dedicated to going to be the Pokemon that I'm going to put in the evil base, uh, like, layers and teams and stuff. Uh, I'm not really going to use either Typhlosion or Blaziken over my Charizard, so that's kind of why they're chilling there. Uh, and then, we already knew about Zacian or Zakian, or whatever, however you pronounce his name, Zacian, whatever, from the last episode. But, you guys, off, off screen, there was an interesting little, uh, little message that the Pixelmon world decided to give me. It said, a Groudon has appeared, right? And look at this big boy. I did not, here, I'm gonna go full screen here for a second. Yeah, look at him. Look at this big boy. I did not want to get disappointed again from the last episode where I spent literally 20 minutes trying to catch a Latias even though you guys only saw like probably three to four minutes of it. But your boy was so depressed and disappointed I didn't want to get my hopes up high and hit record and be like, yo guys, guess what? There's a Groudon right here. And I'm not gonna say where the Groudon was just because if any of the other boys are watching this video, I don't want them to know my secrets of where I found the Groudon. I don't want them to know. But Another thing we're going to have to try and do is try and find some red shards so we can make uh, a red orb for our boy Groudon here. So then he can primal reverse or whatever it's called. Uh, it's basically going to make him super uber duper strong, but he's chilling in there for now. Uh, yeah, I caught him in a timer ball. I went ahead and I scooped up some apricorns and stuff from the boys' farm back at the starter village. They are loaded, my man. They're absolutely loaded. And uh, where are they at? Where are my timer balls? Right here. I got 10 of them right there. I stacked up on other Pokeballs and stuff like that off screen as well with our money, with that fat shmoney that we got. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I need to grab some glowstone for the Team Magma base. I think I'm going to need that. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm going to have to come back for this, because I've been making some gear to put on armor stands as well for the base. Uh, we're going to need the glass. Do we have more glass ready to go at all? Did I cook any more glass? I don't think I did. I did not cook any more glass. Shame on me, shame on me. Okay, do we have any more sand? We have plenty of sand. Look at this. Look at the sand. We could probably take the glass panes as well. Because your boy has all kinds of juicy ideas flowing in the noggin. We have all kinds of juicy ideas flowing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so hype. So hype. I've been wanting to build some evil team bases for a fat minute. But, but, today is our time. Today is our time. We're going to do it on this mountain. I'm going to turn it into a volcano because the village is that way. Yeah, it's that way. So I want to turn this uh, mountain right here into a volcano, and I want to make it just look really freaking uber duper dope. That's what my objective is. Make it super uber duper dope. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we're doing. We're going to make it in the side of the mountain, so then the base is inside of the mountain, instead of it being like on top, and it's all exposed and everything. I don't want it to be exposed. I don't want our secret evil team base to be exposed completely i want it to be able to be something where it can be found yes but i don't want it to be like sticking out like a sore thumb that's that's where i'm going with this 
Alright, so we're gonna have to mine out the front here. Get the front going. Get the front done diggity gone. And then we're gonna need a proper entrance. I want to have a secret entrance to this too because I, the entire idea I have for this thing is I want it to be surrounded in lava. And I want it to be like a giant volcano and something that's not going to be really easy to enter. So I want to have it be also a secret entrance of some sort as well. I think that would be really dope. Really cool maneuvering dudes. And let's put it right here. I have all kinds of nether brick baby. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Okay so that will be here like so. I want to extend this hallway just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Oh, Thunderstone. What's popping? What's popping? I'll take that Thunderstone, actually. No cap. No cap at all. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, no. Yeah, Thunderstone shards. Let's go, baby. Um, okay, so then we're going to do the lava hallway. So we're going to have to take this out. Okay, so we got the lava pool now finally freaking complete. So let us slime up here. Slime. Slip and slime. Eat skeet. Alright. Let's grab some of this lava. Yes. We have ourselves our lava pool. So then we can put this here and here back down here grab some more can I have some more all right so then we got those two and these two are next yes and then this is next give me lava god diggity dang it man this project is a lot more hassling than I thought it was gonna be wowzers all right, this, then this. Eat ski, fleet delete. Yeah, just need to do two more buckets. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt my being. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt a lot. Okay, so the mountain is all patched up now. We got that done. Oh, that's all patched up. And look at our lava ceiling. Yeet ski. Oh, that's going to bother me that there's a little stone right there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is going to bother me. Stone. That's glass. Aha. Ow. Ow. It burns. It tingles. Ow. Okay. There's lava there. Put that. No. I can't see with this lava burning in my face. Ow. Okay. So let's put some nether brick stairs around it like this. Like so. Uh, and then I can- Ow! Ah, damn it. Damn it. Yes. Up here. Okay. Actually, so what I think what I want to do is I want to put the quartz blocks up like this. Yeah, let's put the quartz blocks up like that. Put another one in the hallway here. I want to make it like a really like fine opening. Ah, how do I keep falling in these damn holes? All right, and I want it to wrap around like that, and then like this. Yes. So I wrap around like that. And then like this. No, not like that. I just want to see how this would look. Maybe I should do it upside down the entire way around, like that. Maybe I should do it upside down the entire way around. Hold on. I'm trying a thing here. Ah! Stop! Falling! Off! Okay. 
Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty decent. I think it's even. Because that's exposed there on that side. And that's exposed over there. Okay, so I think the outside looks fine. Looks dope. Uh, let's go ahead and put this there. No, not like that. This there, like that. And then this here, like this. No, it doesn't look good. I want it. I want it to look good. I want to put it there, like that. Put it there, like that. Like that, like that. No. No, no, no. That does not look good. No, no, no. I'm experimenting with stuff. Figuring out what I like and don't like. This is probably why this recording is going to be over like an hour for me to dissect through. <laughs> uh, okay, so this will be the next part of the base. A quartz block down there. And then I think I want to put like a little thing of such like that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. I think that looks nice. Okay, so let's put this. This is the next room of the base. I think this is going to be where I have the ranch at, like the ranch area. And where I'm going to have like the those ranch monsters kind of sitting around, loafing around, kind of like protecting it, protecting the base if you will. And I want to have one right here like this. Let's put this away, put this on it. Yes. And I can make another set of the gear here in a minute. I can make another set of the gear, but that's how I kind of want it to look and look get positioned. Uh, I think it'll look really cool that way. I think it'll look really dope that way. Yes, yes, yes. Because imagining that, just being greeted by that. Spooky, spooky times, spooky, spooky times. Uh, where's my torches? Here's my torches. Right here, like so. Eat, skeet, fleet, delete. And then, Blaziken, where are you at? Even, my guy. I have no idea where my man's at. Blaziken. Nothing. Nothing. I got, I got nothing. Maybe he's in, he, maybe he's in the ceiling or something, I don't know. Let's put these two boobs in. Where's Kalava? Charmander, what'd you do with Kalava? Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, what'd you do with him? Alrighty, so I think that's gonna wrap up this room. I think I wanna put in the roof real quick. The ceiling, at least. Technically not a roof, because it's not outside, but I wanna put in a ceiling. Put in a ceiling. Yes. So this is taking me about an hour to do. I know I'm not going to leave it as a big one hour episode because I would not want that for you guys. I wouldn't want you guys to watch me try and struggle and build and go back and forth on ideas for an hour. That would suck. That would suck. But I've been here for about an hour doing this much. And this much has been a chore. This much has been a chore. I want to do a couple other things before I wrap up today's video though. I want to get at least one more armor stand with the armor in there, in the hallway part, the hallway bit, and then I want to surround this mountain with uh, lava. That way, we can have like an actual like volcano-esque look going on here. And I probably want to grab some doors as well. Probably grab some doors. So, armor stand numero dos. Welcome. Here's your hat. Here's your... Uh, clothes I guess your boots and your pants don't forget your pants yes yes it's all coming together let's put an armor stand I want to put this block of quartz here and put this there put this armor stand right there like so and then put all this in my inventory, Jesus. Okay, um, and put this one right 
here. I'm going to need to take that out, put in some quartz. Put some quartz. Yes. Yes, it's looking good. I made an extra armor stand. Oops. Uh, okay, let's grab these. Grab, make two of those. Two of these chest plates. Two pairs of pants. And, yep, we have enough room in our inventory for two pairs of shoes. Eat, skeet, fleet, delete. Oh, get rid of that stone slab instead, I guess. Alright. There's that for you. There's that for you. There's that for you. There's pants for you. Shirt for you. Pants for you. And you both get shoes. Merry Christmas. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's back up a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna take out a little bit more of this flooring. Granted, it's not like part of like the inside of the base yet, but I still want it to look good before I cover everything else in lava. Before I cover everything else in lava. Yes. Ah. God damn it. Get me out of here. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I can take back my crafting table, back to my house, back to my house. Oh, I was gonna forget. I was about to forget. I was about to do it. What's up, Charmander? Quilava, PC, and a healer. Let's put those in here. Let's put them right here. Yeah. That way we have access to that in any of our uh, secret bases. I want to have access to these at our secret bases. I am kind of curious though if Groudon would fit in here. Take these guys out. I want to see if Groudon would fit in here. Based off of I'm not seeing him, I don't think Groudon would fit in here. Come on, hold on. Can you see him outside at all? That'd be hilarious. You could see just a giant Groudon sticking out. I think that'd be funny. Super uber duper funny. No, I don't see him. Alright, poor Groudon. Sorry, pal. Alright, let's go back and put the... Uh, little kids back in uh, are they back in I don't know maybe the maybe the things glitching out right now who knows um okay so now I'm gonna do a quick cut another quick cut like probably for the 50th time and I'm gonna surround this baby with lava and I'm gonna cut back to when this baby's all done all right, guys. So I think I might have taken this like a step too far, perhaps maybe maybe a little too far, because uh, yeah, I had to I had to put glass in a surrounding surrounding area even around the outside that I just made. So uh, yeah, let's check it out from the start village. Let's go down from the start village and then let's go towards the uh, the base. And let me just show you what everyone else is going to be seeing. All right, up up and away, Charizard. So let, let's just think that we're like Jesse or Lorenzo or something for a second. Let's just pretend that, you know, we're just going to go this way. We're going to go on this way because we're looking for some adventuring to do. And, uh, yeah, we're just we're just going this way. And then, oh, all, all of a sudden you see, oh, a butt ton of lava. Look at all of this lava that I put here. All of this lava. I don't even want to talk about where I got all the lava from. I don't even want to talk about how long it took me to get all of it here. All I'm going to say is it took a few hundred trips from the nether and back. But look at all this lava. Look at all of it. And then, to make it even harder, I put a very small window of opportunity <laughs> for anybody to land and get inside. <laughs> it's so funny. I, get, I put a very small window in here so like not just anybody can slide on in. But we also have a waypoint set in here as well. But look at our boys. They're just chilling, doing the thing. But this is our Team Magma hideout. I might add more to it in the future. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling at certain points. But this is how I wanted to get this one done. It took me way over an hour to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, little building episode that we had here. For you guys, it'll be a little building episode. But for me, it's been quite a long time. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys show some love down below by liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. Because your boy already knows that... 
we we look dope. We look dope in these sunglasses. You gotta like and subscribe for that. That's just that's just amazing. We look dope as hell. But thank you guys in all seriousness so much for your support. It's been amazing. And hope to catch you in our next episode. Bye bye.